Hey Bobby, just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to use your new uh, Royal FP. Um, so this thing has a lot of bells and whistles and I'll see if I can pull up a uh, PDF manual for you so that way you have something else to reference in the future. But um, at first glance, you get your keyboard, uh, you've got your hood, you can press the Royal button. Just want to make sure that your uh, return arms are out of the way. So you can press the, uh, the Royal and that'll pop up your hood. And that will give you access to you know, your keys and your, your ink ribbon and a couple of other features. So uh, first feature to note is your uh, your control. So what this does is basically it's sort of like a touch control. So it can either tighten or loosen uh, the keys. So this is something that you can kind of play around with. Um, you can see it's a little sort of like faded here because there used to be a sticker that indicated uh, like looseness or tightness. But uh, to adjust this, you basically just push down and then push either to the right or to the left. And this has like a number of settings. I think there's six. So you can kind of like fool around and see which position uh, feels right when you're typing. Um, and then over here on the left, uh, once the ink ribbon uh, right here on this side, it's feeding from the right to the left, since this ink ribbon is full, um, you'd basically go in here and just flip this switch the opposite direction. And that would automatically switch the uh, the ink ribbon from the left spool to the right spool. And this uh, this new ink ribbon should last you quite a few pages. So let's put that back. Um, and then over here on the right, let's shut the hood that you just shut. Over here is your ink, ri uh, ink ribbon color selection. So you've got black, you've got red, and then you've got your um, uh, stencil. So black is black, red is red, and then stencil is basically like if you were to just do impressions on like carbon paper or something to that effect. So uh, this, you just basically push. And that's it. Okay, a little hard to do with one hand on a rotating plate, but let's go, uh, let's go up here. So in terms of inserting paper, uh, you can adjust this in the back if you'd like to kind of make sure that your paper is snug. So you would insert your paper. And over here is the paper release lever. So if you were to pull this towards you, that would allow you to slide the paper in easily. Just kind of want to slide it in and then you can lock it by pushing it back. And this, uh, this is one of my like favorite features for the particular uh, paper holder, but you can pull that towards you, roll the paper up, push that back in place, and then you're good to type. So, you know, you can just start typing. You're good to go. Um, and Return lever, you know, would, would uh, carry you up to the next line or two lines or three lines, uh, which you can see over here. So this is a setting for line number one, which would give you one line. Oops. Two is two. And three is three. And the way in which to use this is, you know, you, you type... Right. Once you get to the, uh, the bell, then you would use this, you would push it to the right and that would automatically reset you to the beginning of your margin and also bring you down to however many uh, lines you have set in there. Okay, so let's bring this back to the middle. So on the left hand side, there's a margin release here and on the right side, there's a margin release here. So both of those uh, levers do the same thing. So if I hold the knob and press that, that will allow me to bring that back to the middle. Um, these little, uh, paper fingers, you can, you know, slide these as depending on the, the width of your paper or if it's a note or anything like that. And then when you want to remove the paper, uh, you'd simply pull this towards you, pull out your paper and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, other features. So right now, if you turn the knob, you'll, you'll hear the click, uh, and this will always give you a single. Uh, single line, but if in an instance you want to have a little bit more control, uh, like typewriter artists and things like that will do that. I forget what this is specifically called, but it's basically like a line rule that gives you like custom free roll. So when you press that, you can you can control this uh, sort of as you wish, as opposed to like a singular, um, you know, mathematic roll. Okay, cool. Uh, this here, that's 
same thing. So if you wanted to not have to press that, this is kind of like a, a, a dual feature. So you can just spin that as, as you'd like, as opposed to pressing this and pushing the knob in. So both of those two levers do the same thing, this and pushing the button. And then uh, the last thing that's a nice feature about this machine are the magic margins. So there's one on the left, uh, there's one on the right. And how to use these is basically uh, find the position wherever you'd like to go. Say it's, uh, you know, right here around 20. You basically push your, uh, pull the margin release towards you. And you can hear it snap so it's moved on the left-hand side to this position here. So let's do the same thing on the right. Right now the margins are, are set all the way to the outside. So say we wanted to go to about 60. Same thing, we would press pull this in. And then now our margin should, should be set from about 20 to 60. So let's pull this to the left. So about 20. And then if we were to just do the carriage release, that will bring us to about 60. So that's how you use those. And if you did want to reset them, it's very simple. You press the uh, you press the carriage release, and then you pull the margin release towards you. And then on the left side, you would push to your right to readjust those. So now this is all all free on the left hand side. And then on the right side, you do the same thing. So you'd press the carriage release, pull towards you, and then push to your left. So now this whole carriage uh, does not have any margin sets except for the, you know, where you've, where you've left them on the outskirts. And then uh, coming down here, sort of speaking about those margins, so let's set, uh, let's set a margin here. Okay, so say I have, um, I'm typing something for, well, for this demonstration, it's, it's recommended to type with paper in it, but uh, that's okay. So say we get to the end of the line, Let's go to stencil. Okay, so we've reached that end of the line, and what happens is uh, there's a called like a line lock, so you can no longer type after the bell rings. And if you want to continue finishing a word, so that way you do not have to hyphenate, you can use the margin release key. So you would just press that, um, and then you can keep typing all the way up until the end of the carriage. So there you go. And then the other, uh, the backspace key that works obviously. Okay, cool. Uh, shift, you can press that. This has like a sort of floating shift mechanism. So the type basket moves down as opposed to the carriage. Uh, if you did want to lock it in place, you would just press shift lock. That will lock it in place. And then to unlock that, you can press uh, shift. I think on either side should unlock that. And then the last feature, which is really nice too, uh, if you're doing any sort of like column writing is you can do uh, tab, tab set and tab clear. So basically what that means is uh, if I wanted to right now, I think I have them set at like every 10, give or take, except for the first one, cause I cleared that. But if I hit tab, I'll go, I think that was about 20 and then 10, 10, and then up until the, uh, the margin. So if I wanted to clear those, I would do, I would go to my first tab stop. I would hit tab. And then I would hit uh, on the front here, tab clear, just a simple press. Okay, cool. And then I would hit tab again, go to the next placement, hit tab clear, go to tab, and keep doing that all the way through. Okay, and this is where it gets fun. So when you remove all the tabs, I mean, the cars will, will certainly fly because it's got a lot of tension in there, but it should go from the beginning all the way to the belt. So there you go. Uh, and if you did want to do tab set, so you basically go to your first, wherever you want to start, uh, you hit tab set. And then if you usually go by spacebar number, so. So I went 10, so I would do tab set again, and then another 10. So let's go back to the beginning of the carriage. And you can see when I hit tab, it should go, that's the, the starting point. So when I hit tab, it should go 10 and then another 10, and then another 10, or actually I only did two sets of 10, but you get the gist. Uh, so that's pretty much all the features of this machine that you kind of need to know about. But um, the, actually speaking of the tabs, so back here, 
Uh, if for some reason you wanted to like manually push in one of these tab stops, you could certainly do that, but it's a little kind of hard to get your finger in there. Uh, but if you wanted to see like the exact increments, you could do that uh, back here. So for example, if you wanted to see this in sort of motion, I'll hit tab. And if I hit tab clear, you can see exactly what happens in the back. So it basically pushes that tab stop uh, back into place. So all these little pins back here are your tabs. And that's your uh, Royal FP. Thanks.